Mark Clements with NOLA.com and the Times Picayune alongside our uh, Baton Rouge area girls tennis player of the year, Kenan Johnson from Ascension Christian High School over at the, uh, the Highland Road Park tennis courts, obviously where you spend a lot of your time. Uh, you won your second state title this year after winning it again last year. What was this year like? Was it any different after you won it this year? Maybe you probably had a target on your back. People were, had a, an eye out for you. Was this year any different than last year? Um, it was a little different just being a senior. It was kind of bittersweet. But um, it was fun to go and play with my team, so it was mm. it was fun. What have been the past two or three years been like for you? I mean, you were you were homeschooled for eighth, ninth, and tenth grade, or seventh, eighth, ninth grade. Yes. Sir. And then you had to sit out. You're ineligible for your tenth grade season. Then you come onto the high school scene and win state your first two years. You're eligible. Just what's this past three, four years has been like for you? Um, it's been really fun. I mean, I was homeschooled for three years. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have that social aspect, so it was fun to go. And be on a team you know I spent that first year just kind of getting used to everything yeah and then becoming a part of a team because with my own tennis like me just traveling by myself I'm just by myself yeah. I don't have a team to rely on so it was really fun to be a part of a team and kind of be a leader so yeah how was the camaraderie with uh, with your teammates it was it was good we all we all had fun you know we all enjoyed you know watching each other play yeah. and cheering each other on so it was really good time when did you first start playing tennis? And is there anyone, uh, a coach or maybe your mom or a parent, something like that, kind of you credit to your successes or building? Yeah, um, I started playing when I was three. Yeah. Um, obviously not tournaments at three, but um, started playing when I was three and tournaments about seven or eight. And my mom and grandmother definitely are big inspirations of that. Mm -hmm. They're both tennis coaches here at Highland Road. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. So. And you told me you're going to Central Florida next year. You should be there in a, in a couple months. What about the school did you like, or the coaches um, when they first came to you? What, what was the feeling to about Central Florida? Um, they they just don't they know how to succeed, and mm -hmm. that was a big thing for me is who's going to help me reach my goals, how I'm going to get to the next step. And I just felt um, UCF was where it could all happen. And you know, not people many people know about the school, right? Which is kind of cool because I can go and kind of help build that legacy there. And I mean, it's it's growing so fast, mm -hmm. like the football team now. Like right. they just won, they just beat Baylor. Like we're we're getting better. You said you're getting there a couple months early. Yes. Uh, what are you going to be doing this summer? And how is it a little more exciting to be on campus a little bit earlier than maybe some of the other students who will be there? Um. Yeah. I'm actually I have orientation June 19th, so we're going to be leaving like a few days early to kind of road trip down mm -hmm. there. Um. I'm actually going to be playing the Southern tournament. Um. One last time for a few days and then I'll have to leave to head over. But um, it's exciting, you know, to get ahead on training and fitness and meet new people and get used to the transition because yeah. I'm so close to my family, I'm so close to my friends, you know, I've never really been that far away from home for that long period of time. So it'll be fun to, you know, go and get used to everything instead of going in August and just being thrown yeah. into everything. Yeah. So and uh, I've never been to Central Florida, but I've heard the weather is beautiful, and oh, I guess yeah. you're used to the heat around here, so I'm sure you'll do well. Yeah. Um, well, for our Baton Rouge area Girls Tennis Player of the Year, Kenan Johnson, I'm Mark Clements, NOLA.com, Times Picayune.